Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about a new iOS 15 update, iOS 15.5. This will most likely be the last big update to come to iOS 15 before Apple moves on to iOS 16. Of course, I strongly believe this won't be even close to iOS 15.4, but it still should bring some really important features for iPhone users. So in this video, we're going to talk about these features and of course, everything else that you need to know regarding iOS 15.5 and when you can expect this update to come to your device. And we're starting off with some features that I believe should come to iOS 15.5. And one of them was found on the iOS 15.4 code, but it didn't make it, of course, to iOS 15.4. And you can even find it right here under the settings. So if you go to settings, head on to the Safari settings, move all the way down to the advanced section, go to experimental features right here and scroll down, you will find here push API. This means that Apple is basically planning to bring push notifications for web-based applications or websites. So just like you get notifications from Safari, from websites, on your Mac, you will be able to get those on your iPhone as well. So as I said, this has been included here on the experimental features with iOS 15.4, but it didn't actually make it to iOS 15.4. So this might be one of the features that Apple might include with the iOS 15.5 update. Now, another really great feature that Apple has included on the iOS 15.4 code, again, didn't make it to iOS 15.4, but it's really good is the ability to change the dark mode based on websites. So you will basically have the ability to set custom dark modes for websites on Safari. So let's say you're on dark mode, but you want a website to always load on the light mode. What you will have to do is of course, probably go here, go to the website settings and choose here in which mode you want that website to load. So whether you prefer a light mode or dark mode for a website, you can just enter the setting there. And of course, it doesn't matter in which mode your system is, that website will always just load on the light mode or dark mode, whichever you have chosen from the website settings. So this is another great, great feature, which I believe would actually be very, very useful. And it is expected to come with iOS 15.5. What Apple did with iOS 15.4 was introducing a brand new feature, which I believe was very, very useful. It was there on the first couple of betas, I believe, then Apple removed it. And that was the ability to actually turn off iCloud access on the web. And you could do it simply by going to your settings and of course going to your iCloud settings. But with the release of iOS 15.4, that feature is nowhere to be seen. I couldn't find that feature again on the settings app. And of course, Apple probably has been just testing that feature and has removed it. So that's another feature that I believe Apple should bring with iOS 15.5. So a lot of people don't want to actually allow access on their iCloud data from the web. So you can just go ahead and turn that off. Of course, you can do that from the iCloud settings on your iPhone. You could do that actually with the first couple of betas of iOS 15.4, but then it was actually removed and hopefully that feature is coming back with iOS 15.5. Another thing that I'd expect Apple to do with iOS 15.5 is probably finally taking private relay out of beta. This might just go like official, get out of the beta because it has been on beta stages since it has been released. So private relay is basically a service that Apple offers, which will mask your IP address on Safari and browsing activity from the network providers and websites. This is really important. And of course you will have to be to subscribe to iCloud plus in order to get this feature. But again, this feature is still on beta. Even if you subscribe and get this feature is still on beta stages and it might finally get out of beta with iOS 15.5 and the ability to add your driving license to the wallet app. That is of course a feature that Apple has introduced on WWDC 2021 when they introduced iOS 15. And it's almost a year now since that has happened and this feature didn't make it to iOS. Of course, this is a very complicated feature. They will have to work a lot for that, but it didn't make it until now probably, hopefully it will make it on iOS 15.5. I know on US, there are some states that will actually allow this feature currently, but of course, Apple has to roll out this feature and hopefully that will happen with iOS 15.5.
Now we talked about features that we're expecting to come to iOS 15.5. Now I'm going to talk about a feature that of course people have to know that it won't be coming to iOS 15.5. This is a feature that has been released with iOS 15.4 is the ability to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask. A lot of people think that this might be and basically an update based feature. So with a future update, Apple might actually allow this feature to work on all the devices because as of currently, it works only on the iPhone 12 models and 13 models. But don't expect that to happen. This won't happen and this feature won't be available on all the devices because of course it's not that Apple doesn't want that is of course the ability of the iPhone sensors and things like that of course to work with this and of course have this feature. So don't expect Face ID with mask to come to all the devices on a new update. Now this being not as big as update as iOS 15.4, of course it will have a few new features, but most likely they will focus a lot on bug fixes. One of them that has been bothering iPhone users since the release of iOS 15 is the storage bug. So this bug is really interesting on some updates it comes and some updates it goes. It's just like really, really annoying. You go to your iPhone storage. Sometimes it will actually load quite fast with iOS 15.4, but sometimes it will take minutes and not even load at all. So I expect Apple to finally give this a solution and of course fix this problem on iOS 15.5 as you can see right now it's not actually loading at all and this will take a lot of time it will just stay like this loading for a long long time sometimes it won't even load at all hopefully this will actually was really better with iOS 15.4 beta 4 then it got worse on beta 5 and of course it stayed like this hopefully this will be fixed finally with iOS 15.5 Another bug that I hope Apple will fix with iOS 15.5 is on the health app. So I've been facing this bug. I just browsed Reddit, the iOS beta on Reddit, and a lot of people are having this issue as well. You go to your health app, you go to search right there. You can search for anything you want, but it won't show any results at all. So the search bar here, the search section is actually broken on a lot of devices. I know this is not like a bug that will impact every iPhone users, but it's actually a bug that has been impacting a lot of users and I believe it's on device basis. So a lot of people are reporting this as you can see right here, I'm having this problem. So the search section on the health app on iOS 15.4 doesn't actually work at all. As you probably know, with iOS 15.4, Apple is now allowing to update via cellular. So you can update completely via cellular or you can start with Wi-Fi and continue on cellular. And now with iOS 15.5, when it gets released, you will be finally able to actually update via cellular to iOS 15.5. So if you're interested on installing this update, if you install the beta or the public beta, just try it out. You will now be able to actually update through cellular data. Now, when it comes to updating, of course, we need to know the release date. So today is Monday, March 21st, and I expect Apple to release the first beta of iOS 15.5 this week. It might even happen today or tomorrow. I believe these are the two days when Apple will release the first beta of iOS 15.5. Of course, they should release other updates, iOS 15.4.1, things like that, smaller updates in the meantime until iOS 15.5 goes out of beta, but you can expect the first beta of iOS 15.5 to be released this week. And I expect it, of course, to go through a few beta stages, maybe four or five in the RC version. And I would expect iOS 15.5 to be released to the public actually around here, the end of April, or maybe the first week of May. These are the dates that I expect Apple to release iOS 15.5 to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is what you can expect with iOS 15.5. Again, probably the last big update to iOS 15 before Apple moves on to iOS 16, which of course will be introduced at WWDC 2022 in the beginning of June. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.